But these oh, 10 kids, is someone babysitting you as well? How old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm a white kid. First off, no boyfriend. Everyone, stop, I'm crying. Wait, Calm them down. an injury? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's so many of them. Help me, Rhonda. <laughs> Choosing a new, like, oldest sibling of 10 kids, a new babysitter to help us uh, out. And with these 10 kids, I know it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a, a nice mm. interview process, though, because they need to be equipped with some skills, people, because this is not easy. Looks easy, not easy at all. Mm -hmm. right. Not easy. What? So, we have a few contestants to try out for this position as oldest sibling of 10 kids. <laughs> Guys, for the first challenge, we will be interviewing each of the contestants to see who we think has the best answers. We are only gonna eliminate one with this first challenge, and so it's gonna be pretty easy. I'm yeah. sure we'll have one that like is an obvious, probably wouldn't no. work, so. Yeah. All right, so let the interviews begin. So I'm here because I really like to babysit people, and I honestly think it's really fun, so I'm really excited for this. Hi! Hi! What's your name? My name is Kailea. Kailea, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm 13. 13. Nice to meet you. Okay, so mostly I showed up for this babysitting <laughs> job and I'm kind of scared because I don't really have any experience. How would you handle if one of our kids were throwing a tantrum or just crying and you could get them to stop? Like, what would you do to like help them get their mind off of it? Okay, well I'm so glad you asked because actually if they're crying, like I'm gonna cry with them. Bonding time. We can bond together and we can all cry like, you know, just thinking about it makes me emotional. Like, do you guys want to cry with me? It's just, it's just kind of, you know. But then afterward, if they stop crying, then I'll stop crying too, so. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're so cute. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Anise. Anise, nice to meet you, Anise. Nice to meet you. Hey, I have that same necklace. Oh, so really? Cute. I'm so excited. I have a little brother, so I'm actually kind of experienced with babysitting. But it's kind of a little bit weird because I'm going to have to babysit older kids. So that's actually kind of weird. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Keisha. Keisha. Nice to meet you. Hi, Keisha. How old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, this many, uh, 12. Oh, 12. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, so tell us a little bit about you. Like, what is your experience babysitting a lot of little kids? Okay, so mostly I'm a dancer, and at recitals we have to like take care of the little kids, so I'm really used to that. Hello, what's your name? My name's Nayeli. Nayeli, nice. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. I am so bummed. I have five other siblings, and I do pretty well. I am generally the one in charge, so I think I'm gonna do great. Do you have anybody that you've ever babysat before? Mm-hmm. Okay. How old were they? Oh wait, now okay. we got the babysat. <laughs> she yeah. It's okay. We have many. Alright! I'm kinda nervous. Hello! Hi. What's your name? I'm Raquel. Just kidding, I know you. Hi. Yes. <laughs> so um how would you react if one of the little kids came up and just like kicked you right in the shin? I would like probably questions. hold them up and fold their arms and just have them count to ten. It oh. has happened. Oh, it has happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, hi, Faye. Hi, Is someone babysitting you as well? <laughs> You're here for the interview? How old are you? Okay. Nine. Oh, okay. You must be a really responsible nine-year-old. Yeah. 
Yeah? Yeah. Um, so, do you have much experience with babysitting? Um, I have a little sister. You have a little sister? sister? Yeah. Do you babysit her sometimes? Yeah. I'm very excited. This is like one of my third opportunities to babysit. I really, really hope I get this one. How long do you think is an appropriate time for kids to be on like the phone? No longer than like two hours. Or sometimes if the parents say they can go longer with that, then oh. I'll let them. Hmm. Okay. Agreed. And all right. Um, what? Everyone, stop. I'm crying. Do you have any boyfriends that you think would be okay to just come over and visit while you're babysitting? Absolutely not. No boyfriends. All right, all right, all right. Good answer. And second, you don't bring anyone over while babysitting. Right, right. I don't. Do you know how to do hair? Because there is seven girls. Yes, I did my hair today. Weird question. Have you ever had a little boy come and kick you in the shin? Yes. <laughs> you have? Uh, yeah. Okay. And, and how did you deal with that? Did you kick him back <laughs> in the shin? No. Oh, okay. That's well, good. He's, he's younger than me. I oh. wouldn't do that. Oh. Good, good answer. Wow, that is a really good answer. I would probably kick him back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for our last interview, we have, let's see who we got. Hi! Hello! Hey, what's your name? Kaylani. Kaylani, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How old are you? I'm 16. You're 16? Yes. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, I can't take a call. No, I'm in an interview. Dude, Don't Sorry. Oh, that's alright. What's your favorite part of babysitting? I mean, I don't really enjoy it. Kids are like, yeah. You don't? Oh. But you're here for like an interview to babysit. Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, no. okay, good. Now we really get babysitting. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so who have you babysat for? Like, how old were they? Um, well, they were about like six. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You're yeah. really great. I'm so sad. It's going to be so long without you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what would you do to like calm them down? Like if, you know, if they got a boo-boo on their knee? I'd probably laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't know what came over me. Like when I get nervous in like interviews and stuff, I start counting on my fingers. I seem like a baby, but I'm totally capable of this job. This is not good. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I think we're done with this interview. Thank you, nice to meet you. You too. Okay, thanks so much. Yep, yeah. see you later. See ya. Dude, it sounded like a man. She called him dude too. I think she does have a boyfriend. She just was like trying to pull one over on us. The whole like total denial, like no. Mm. Yeah, I'm not believing that for a second. of you to eliminate because we could only eliminate one and I'm so sorry but Faye we have to eliminate you again I'm so sorry do you get eliminated often yes oh, my third time. you're so oh, sweet third. you're just a little too young to babysit the kids that are actually older than you you know what I mean okay. but you're amazing you're gonna make a really great babysitter in a couple more years boom well, I didn't pass the first round, which was the interviews. So, um, I was kind of sad about that. I literally, like, killed it. I won. I'm kind of sad that Faye got out, though. I completely aced that interview. Like, I'm doing good. I was crying the whole time because it got really emotional, and it was kind of hard, but I think I, I think I did good. I'm not sure, but... Hopefully they choose me. I don't think I'm gonna make it very far. No, stop laughing. <laughs> All right guys, it's time for the second challenge. Yeah, this one's gonna be a lot harder. So we have got a ton of picky kids at our house. One of the most pickiest is Ledger. 100%. So what we are gonna do is have the girls put out one food item on plates and Ledger's gonna go through and choose and whatever he will take a bite of, get to move on to the next round. And if he doesn't take a bite, they're gone. They're out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, it's time for our second challenge, and mom, can you explain? Okay, so I've got a lot of picky kids in our house, a lot of picky kids. 
the pickiest of all of them is going to get choices of what to eat. So each of you are going to make one plate of one item of food. You can cut it up, you can make it look as beautiful as that one item can look. He's gonna come in, whatever he takes a bite of, that person gets to go to the next round, and if he doesn't take a bite of your plate, you're out. So only one item. One item. One item. So you can choose like goldfish or an orange. Yeah. One item has to take at least one bite or at least put it to his mouth. If he goes like that and spits it out, it's okay. But he needs to at least be brave enough to try it. To pick it. Um, okay. Yes. What if we pick the same thing? Oh. Mm, well, first come, first serve. So run! <laughs> snack but my sister already took it so these are our three last contestants to be the oldest of 10 kids babysitting I have a calendar here and it literally just has like one thing per day which is so not my life I usually have at least 15 things per day but I'm going to let you look at this calendar together you can't write anything down just for like one minute and then whoever can remember the most appointments and if you remember the day and the time that gives you an extra point so if, if you're like hey you're going to film this day at this time there's two points okay okay all right okay there's the calendar everybody so you can see here we go You remember? Here yes. we go. Yes. Okay, so on the first, uh, church, family night, cheer, 
ortho was on the 6th, I want to say. Church for the year ortho, film, and then a party, and then PTA, and then date. That's what that's what was all on the board. Okay, do you remember any actual dates for that? So on the film first, so first was church, second was family night, third night was cheer, and then sixth night was ortho, I think, and then film was Saturday, and then party was, um, I think it was Friday. And then PTA, I want to say, was on Tuesday. And then, um, some party PTA, doctor's appointment was on Thursday. Okay. All right, you guys, she got two wrong. So I think that was 10 if I got that right. So she got 10 right. So let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first day was church on Sunday at 1 p.m. Then the next one was on Monday and it was family night. Then on Tuesday, I believe it was cheer at 5.40. Then, then on, then on Wednesday, I think it was the mommy and daughter date. Then skip a day, which is Thursday. Then on Friday, it was, oh no, oh no, no, I had it. No, I had it, hold on. Um. Um, oh, oh, ortho appointment at 12 p.m. Then the last, the last day, which was Friday, I think it was film? It was, okay, and then after that, I had no idea because I can't remember more than that. Good job. Thank you. Right, you're welcome. Hopefully I did good. Yeah, Hopefully. I think you did really good. Really you babysitter. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you remember any appointments, any days? Just go. I'll okay. Count them. So um, on Sunday is church. Then on Monday it is family night, except on the second week of January, which was a PTA meeting. And then on Wednesday, oh no, Tuesday, was cheer practice at 5.40. Then, um, oh no, um, I don't remember anything from Thursday, and then Friday, you're okay. I don't remember anything else. You've got to see any so. other appointments you can think of seeing, any other words you can think of seeing. And just like doctor appointment, I think. You don't even have to know the date, just, just any appointments at all. It's okay. There's another appointment, but I'm not sure what it was. All right, so you're good? I think so. I don't know. All right, good job. Give me five. Woo! Okay, guys, she got eight. So I think we know our winner. Okay, guys.